Hi guys, it's Grace. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be painting the strong and powerful Jessie Nelson. If you don't know who she is, let me tell you. She's an amazing singer from the band Little Mix, which is based in the UK. And um, she recently came out with a documentary on BBC called Odd One Out. In this documentary, she talked about like the comments that have been made towards her appearance throughout her career and how they've affected her and how she suffered through like a very intense depression, especially after being called rude names by Katie Hopkins, who is best known for being an online troll. Um, anyways, because she's super strong and powerful and she has an amazing support group, she was able to get through that awful time, but of course she's still suffering with the effects of the comments, not just by Katie Hopkins, but by people commenting on the X Factor website saying I can't believe the ugly one got into Little Mix or she should kill herself you know things like that and that is something that I kind of wanted to touch on like not only with the obvious stuff like don't be mean to people don't say mean things which like obviously you shouldn't be name calling and being rude but I also wanted to share my experiences with my own personal way of being myself like to kind of give you another point of view, but also to help you understand how you best can help someone with self-esteem issues. So from what I've heard from other people, what happens is that we start thinking very low of ourselves when we're very young. Maybe like a small comment, like our parents saying we should exercise more. When I was at my worst, I took that comment as my parents saying, you need to exercise more, but I'm going to say we so you don't feel bad. And obviously, they weren't meant to be offensive. My parents probably said something like that because they felt like we were being too lazy and they felt like we needed to be a little bit more active. But I would take that as an attack towards me. And it especially started getting worse for me in fifth grade when a girl who I deemed my friend, which I realized now was a mistake because she was very manipulative, but I saw her as my friend. She came up to me, grabbed my stomach, and asked, is it a boy or a girl? Now, you can imagine, like, my little fifth grade self is here thinking, huh. So, I just kind of laughed, but really on the inside, I was just thinking, oh my god, if I can be mistaken for a pregnant lady that means that I'm gross and that I'm a pig and I'm just barely in fifth grade and I'm already this fat and I'm already this ugly and I will never get anybody to date me and just my mind started spiraling out of control and thinking the absolute worst things that I could and after this moment that's when the way that women were portrayed on TV really started affecting me I saw you know, these skinny, curvaceous Victoria's Secret models, which we know already that are photoshopped, but I didn't realize that at the time. And so I saw them and I thought, that is who I should be, but instead I look like my piggy bank. <laughs> um, and, you know, like I said, the smallest comments that weren't even directed towards me or even meant to be offensive in any way whatsoever my brain would twist the words and make me feel like they were being directed towards me and they were trying to offend me in some way so it just it made me feel worse and obviously i tried my hardest to not show it but there came a point in which all those thoughts and me just pushing it down and me trying to hide it it just, it was all getting to me, and it was my first time having harmful thoughts, and my first time, you know, having a plan um, on how to hurt myself. I felt like that really escalated when I felt like I had no support. You know, school was awful, and I felt like the, the teachers weren't there to help me, they were just there to get a paycheck, and because that was happening on, at school, my brain thought that it was happening everywhere when really it was just happening in school where I had no support system in school but my brain thought well you have no support system anywhere so you might as well just disappear I mean 
if you have no support system, then nobody will feel the impact of you being gone. So, you know, just disappear, um, to put it in a PG, you know, family-friendly way. But, you know, when I got through that little rough patch, I still wasn't thinking clear, but I was thinking a little bit clearer. And so I thought, hey, you know what? I know a way in which I can make myself feel better, but also if something were to happen, nobody would feel the impact of me being gone. So, you know, win-win. Um, so I stopped eating and it got to the point where I got used to feeling full after just eating a piece of toast. Very often I would eat less than two meals a day and it wasn't even like me trying to eat healthy. It was just me trying to not eat as much. And whenever I went to the doctor and they weighed me, I would see the weight loss and I would feel just so happy and so proud of myself. And even though I knew it was wrong and I knew that there were better ways, I just, I didn't care about my health at that point. Because like I said, I felt like nobody would miss me if anything happened. So during that time is when I was thinking, oh my god, people are so insensitive. When really it was just my brain warping the thoughts sorry, the words of others, you know, my brain would perceive comments made by others into something completely different. And so, you know, because I'm making this video to spread awareness and give you some tips on how to help your friends or maybe even strangers or your family members or whoever it may be, I'm here to tell you something really important that I feel like will pretty much change everything. So, like I said, when I was at my worst and someone told me, you look so pretty today, my immediate thought wouldn't be, oh my god, thank you, <laughs> I really tried today. It would be, they're just saying that because they pity me. Or like when somebody told, when I, sorry, when I told somebody about my insecurities and they replied with, oh, but you're not ugly, I would think, ugh, of course they're gonna say that because they're, they're too nice to say that I'm ugly. So basically... The insight that I'm trying to provide here is that sometimes compliments don't work and sometimes you just need to be there for someone because you don't know how their minds will warp your comments or take your comments. So just like me, you know, you could tell them, oh my god, you look really pretty today and they would think, no I don't, but you're just too nice to say that I look decent and not like my ugly usual self, so you said that I look pretty, you know, or your hair looks really cute today, and they would think, no, it doesn't, you're just lying, which is what I would think. That's how I would take the compliments of others. So instead, show them that they matter and that you would miss them if they left your life. Say you're having a conversation, even just by saying, if you move to a different school, I would miss you so much. That's really what would have helped me recover faster was knowing that people cared about my well-being and that they were okay with me being me and they so that's like what I'm trying to get across by saying by you just saying I would miss you if you went to a different school or I would miss you if you quit this job or whatever it may be you're letting them know that you don't care about how they look you just would miss them as a person and that, I feel like, is one of the best things that you can tell someone that's suffering with self-esteem issues. Especially when you don't know how their brain can be warping and twisting your words to fit their narrative. <laughs> and I'm not saying we have a narrative, but sometimes, you know, depression just is really messed up. And I guess depression's narrative would be the one twisting the words um, and, you know, making making us feel like crap and making us feel like the compliments that people give us are empty and they actually mean the complete opposite. Or they just feel like they have to give us a compliment because they pity us. So, anyways, like Jessie, um, I still feel, feel the effects of my thoughts, um, but I am feeling a little bit better. And... Also, little disclaimer, I should have included this at the beginning, but I'm definitely not trying to say that Jessie and mine and 
like that our situations are the same because they absolutely are not she had like a ton of people coming for her looks and telling her that she should um die and hurt herself whereas my messed up brain <laughs> twisted the words of other people um so it absolutely is not the same situation but the documentary that she came out with inspired me to make this video telling you how you can best help other people that are going through self-esteem issues especially self-esteem issues because compliments for me when i received a compliment it just went in one ear out the other whereas if somebody would have told me that they cared about me and that they would miss me if I left their lives. Maybe I stopped talking to them, maybe I moved somewhere, whatever it may have been, that would have impacted me in such a different way than somebody telling me, you look pretty today. Because my self-esteem, especially regarding my looks, would have prevented my brain from taking that compliment. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. Um, but anyways, that's what this video is mainly about. And, you know, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoyed my painting. It took me 11 hours to complete. No biggie. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the process. And I hope this video kind of helps you think in a different way. Um, because obviously not everybody's brains work the same and you know different things work for different people but I hope this is like another solution that you can find um maybe if you are suffering with self-esteem issues you could take from this the fact that when people give you compliments they mean it they're not just going out of their way to give you a compliment just because they don't mean it they're going out of their way to compliment you and you should take that to heart instead of taking negative comments to heart whether those negative comments be coming from yourself or from other people um the compliments are what you should really focus on instead of the negative things and i know that's easier said than done i know that i've been there it's so much easier said than done but that's what i would have told my younger self when I was going through this tough situation is that no people are actually complimenting you because they want to compliment you not because they pity you and they are doing a service by complimenting you no <laughs> they're going out of their way because they actually care about me and they actually want me to feel better about myself so anyways, um, with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.